Hi Scorpio, this is your September 16th through the 22nd weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads on this weekly reading. In the first spread, we'll be looking at new love entering your life. In the second spread, we'll check in with those of you who are already involved with somebody. Spread number three will be love from the past. In the fourth spread, we'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances. And the fifth, the final spread will be what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, comment, and subscribe to support this channel. So this first spread is on new love this week, Scorpio. We have uh, the lovers, clarified by the two of cups, the six of pentacles. Then we have the nine of cups, clarified by the knight of pentacles. In the potential outcome, we have the three of wands uh, with the sun and death. <laughs> and we have the two of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing um, with a Gemini, Leo. We also have Earth, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Perhaps even another Scorpio. But uh, you could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. It's a general reading. Well, Scorpio, it's going to be short, shorter than usual. If you've been following for me for a while, uh, you know I do five spreads. The first one is the longest one, but it's still short compared to others. Right? It's going to be short because we have four cards on the table that could be interpreted very similarly. Very similarly. Those four cards are talking about having to make a choice having to make a choice. It's a choice between two people, it's a choice uh, among three people. <laughs> it's a choice, if you're dealing with just one person, it's a choice whether you want to jump into this or not, whether you want to uh, get into this or not. But you will definitely be facing a choice. Or it could be the person you're dealing with, they're facing a choice. Let's be fair, let's be honest, right? Uh, other people also have choices. But yeah, the lovers, the two of ones clarifying it, the six of pentacles right next to the lovers, and the two of pentacles um, on the bottom of the deck, those are the cards that could definitely be interpreted as a card of having to make a choice. All right, the lovers could be a Gemini you're dealing with, by the way. But since it's clarified by the two of ones and the six of pentacles and the two of pentacles are also here, yes, it's a choice. It is a choice. So uh, make a choice based on what makes you happy. <laughs> Easy, right? Piece of cake. Um, in the middle, we have the nine of cups clarified by the knight of pentacles. The Nine of Cups is a card of a satisfaction and fulfillment. It is a card of a wish come true. The Knight of Pentacles, clarifying it could be an Earth sign you're dealing with, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But uh, the Knight of Pentacles, uh, it's all about stability. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles is the most long-term oriented knight out of all four knights, the most grounded knight uh, out of all four knights, and the most financially abundant knight out of all four knights. So if, if you're choosing stability and long-term, um, financial abundance, if, or perhaps this is a suggestion from the universe to choose based on that. Okay, <laughs> you you do what you do, what you want to do, Scorpio. But uh, that's what I see here. The Knight of Pentacles is all about, you know, long-term instability and finances, and staying grounded, right? In the potential outcome, we have the three of ones with the Sun and Death. Death is your major arcana card. You are here in your own reading, represented by your major arcana card and in your own potential outcome. So again, it's going to be up to you. The three of ones, by the way, the first card in the potential outcome, yeah, it is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a choice, and after that there's no turning back, by the way. The, three of one, the person with the three of ones knows what they want after they had to make a choice. The three of ones is a natural progression from two. Right? The sun in the middle of the potential outcome could simply be a Leo. You're dealing with the sun is a Leo major kind of card, but it is a card of clarity. Clarity, right? And besides that, it's the happiest card in the deck. It's the happiest card in the deck. One thing I know is that you're not going to be rushed into making this decision. There is no, um, there is no urgency. <laughs> so take your time. Take your time. The Knight of Pentacles, by the way, is the slowest knight out of all four nights. So take your time, observe. If you're dealing with two people, go out on a date with one, go out on a date with another, learn about them, educate yourself about what they're all about, and make an educated decision. I guess that's the uh, piece of advice I have for you. So yeah, that's pretty much it, uh, Scorpio. Anyway, really happy for you. Congratulations. If you are already in a relationship or married, uh, Scorpio, this part is for you. We have the King of Pentacles, clarified by the Harpent, the Wheel of Fortune, Temperance, and uh, the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Um, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Sagittarius. 
I don't know who this King of Pentacles is to you, <laughs> Scorpio, but uh, this is some something serious, some some kind of a serious matter. If you two got into a fight, uh, they want to bury the hatchet with you, um, or perhaps they just want to get serious with you. If this is somebody you're not married to, and they happen to be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Sagittarius, or maybe this person is like very grounded, or they're like an entrepreneur, um, then uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they propose to you. If this is not somebody you're married to, right? Or you, I wouldn't be surprised if they apologize to you. Right? Um, yeah, the six of ones on the bottom of the deck used to be called the proposal card. It's also a card of victory, success, it's a card of uh, attention. So you're definitely in this person's uh, center of attention. <laughs> right? Uh, the the Hierophant clarifying the King of Pentacles could be a Taurus you're dealing with. Uh, right? Uh, but the Hierophant is a card of something formal, official, something traditional, religious, educational. Right, the Wheel of Fortune is uh, either a repeat of something or a start of something, but uh, it could be a start in the next level up. The Wheel of Fortune could be a card of literally going somewhere, moving. You know, it's a very fortunate card. And at the end, we have Temperance. Temperance is a card of healing. It's a card of patience. It's a card of balance. It's a good card to have. Always is. Right. So yeah, cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Scorpio, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be uh, the most recent X, and uh, in your case, it doesn't even have to be an X. So we have the Six of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Wands. Uh, we have the King of Swords, clarified by the Eight of Wands. We also have the Page of Cups, clarified by the Queen of Cups. And uh, we have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing um, with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Oh la la, <laughs> Scorpio. <laughs> Oh la la. Alright, so you're dealing with this King of Swords, right? So it's probably an air sign. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or somebody with a lot of air in their chart. The Six of Cups to the left from the King of Swords is a soulmate card. It's also a card of uh, somebody coming back from the past. But uh, there is a few things you need to know about the Six of Cups. First of all, yeah, it is a card of a soulmate connection. Yes, it is a card of somebody from the past, but not necessarily an ex. It can be an ex, doesn't have to be. It could simply be somebody from the past. Um, and uh, one other thing you need to know about the Six of Cups, we're usually glad to see people when they come back with the Six of Cups energy. Not only will you be glad, I think you're going to be like really excited. Because <laughs> the Ace of Wands... Um, Clarifying that Six of Cups is all about excitement, it's all about inspiration, it's all about bright ideas, and it's all about uh, passion. And uh, it could be passion for one another, it could be passion for something else. Perhaps you worked together, or you collaborated together, or did, uh, did something else together, and perhaps now you, you're going to do it again. Okay, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the Ace of Wands is all about passion, all right? Uh, the King of Swords themselves is classified by the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is a card of a lot of communication, back and forth communication. It's also a card of travel, so don't be surprised if this person shows, shows up, right? If they went away, they could be coming back, or they could be in your neighborhood, or they could be uh, coming to see you, or what have you. We also have the Page of Cups, clarified by you, right? The Page of Cups is a card of, hey, let's get together, hey, what you been up to, you know, it's an invitation, all right? Then it's clarified by the Queen of Cups, and I assume you're the Queen of Cups here, right? Uh, the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck also has to do with the past. It can be associated with the past, like a repeat of something. Okay, starting something again. And uh, the Wheel of Fortune is a very fortunate card, hence the word fortune. So I think that uh, if it is an X, I think you guys are going to give it another shot. If it's just somebody from the past, I think things are going to get really exciting <laughs> between the two of you. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, um, Scorpio, this week. We have the Sun. We have the King of uh, Wands, clarified by the Page of Wands. We have the Star. And we also have the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fire sign. There is the O Sagittarius. We also have Aquarius on the table. What? Third spread in the row with a, with a king in it? <laughs> so you have the King of Pentacles, you have the King of Swords, and now you have the King of Wands. So you got people. 
You have people, Scorpio. I'm, I'm, I assume you have people's skills. <laughs> but jokes aside, yeah, so this King of Wands has something like really exciting to tell you. Alright? Re like happy. Happy, happy. Or it has something to do with children. Right? Because uh, the Page of Wands could be a child. Uh, we also have a child in the Sun card riding the horse. Um, but uh, if children are uh, out of the question, then uh, yeah, the King of Wands wants to communicate with you, with that page of Wands. So you'll be hearing from them. The Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck is also a card of communication. It's also a card of travel. Um, yeah, it could be a card of back and forth communication. So it could be like negotiations or making sure everybody is on the same page if it's back and forth, right? And uh, the star could be an Aquarius, you know, but the star is a card of a wish come true. Something people usually wish for and hope for for a very long time. So perhaps this person is going to let you know that you got that job or that you always want it. Or you're being promoted or maybe you're going to some kind of a conference or, or something like that. Or, or whatever, right? It's a really positive spread with the sun and the star being in the same spread, yeah. Uh, really happy, really happy spread. The Sun is the happiest card in the deck. It's also a card of clarity. So um, perhaps this week you're going to be crystal clear uh, about what's going on because they're going to tell you. Because they're choosing you, selecting you, they're giving you that job, they're giving you that contract, they're sending you to that conference, they're promoting you or something like that. And uh, it's a wish come true for you. Alright? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Scorpio. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and uh, the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, a gift is coming your way. A gift. Once in a lifetime opportunity. A golden opportunity. That's what the Ace of Pentacles is. That's what's coming your way. I don't know what it has to do with, because the Ace of Pentacles is like a universal ace. It could be work, business, it could be love, friendship, living situation, anything. <laughs> right? I deliberately did not clarify it, by the way. I, I, I just, since it's something unexpected, then there's got to be an element of surprise, Scorpio. I hope you forgive me. <laughs> right? It's got to be an element of surprise. But uh, what I can tell you is that uh, you, it'll give you a reason to celebrate. Or you could be invited to some kind of an event or party or gathering, industry event, birthday. And um, if you do attend it, if you do go, it will turn out to be a golden opportunity for you. Right? Because the Three of Cups could be that event you're being invited to. Right? Or the Three of Cups, this is you celebrating after that Ace of Pentacles plays out. And the Nine of Cups right next to the deck uh, is also a card of an event or a party or a gathering. Or it's simply a card of a wish come true and satisfaction. So let it be a surprise, <laughs> Scorpio. <laughs> let me know in the comments down below how this plays out for you. But uh, this looks awesome. Alright, so be on the lookout of like once in a lifetime opportunities or job offers or friendship or living situation, what have you. Alright, so yeah, that's what I have for you, Scorpio, for this reading, for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it, please also comment and subscribe, and uh, other than that, Scorpio, have an amazing week.